Have you ever dreamt that you were walking in thick fog? We're going to talk about what fog can mean in dreams. I dreamt that when I opened the door to my house, I was met by a thick fog. Every room in the house was foggy. Some family members were in the kitchen eating and some were in other parts of the house. They were all behaving normally and none of them seemed to notice the heavy fog, not even when I tried to bring it to their attention. I felt frustrated at the fact that no one before we interpret that dream, and I want you to go ahead and write down what you think your interpretation is or the interpretation is of the dream. Go ahead and do that now, and then we'll interpret it in a few minutes. But we're going to talk about what fog can mean in a dream. You ever had a dream like that where you're walking uh, through a forest and it's foggy or you're driving down a road and it's foggy, you can't see up ahead? Well, fog in dreams can tend to represent confusion. Um, something is not quite clear. Uh, it could be pertaining to a particular uh, subject or particular situation in your life where things are just not clear. You don't know what to do. You can't see what direction to go in. So fog can represent confusion that's going on in the life of the dreamer. Fog can also represent uncertainty. You're not quite certain of which way to go or what decisions to make in a particular area in your life. So, uh, so in essence, fog in dreams tend to represent confusion, it can represent uncertainty, uh, represents the inability to see things clearly. So in whatever uh, situation that the dream is displaying, the storyline of the dream uh, is showing that there is some uncertainty or confusion in the life of the dreamer in a particular area in the dreamer's life. They're not seeing things clearly and it's important that they see clearly concerning their life's purpose or something in particular. Uh, so also in a dream, now that we know that fog means can represent confusion or uncertainty, not seeing things clearly, you can have common scenarios in dreams uh, dealing with or surrounding fog, for instance. You can have a dream where you're um, riding down the street at night and it's nighttime or walking through a forest at night and it's dark. Well, if you have a dream where you're in the dark and it's foggy, that represents just a total confusion. Can't see your way at all. Can't, I mean, just no vision, no clarity. You don't know which way to, to go, totally confused, uh, pertaining to a particular area in your life. And if you have a dream like that and you're not quite sure what the dream could be pointing to uh, in your life, then you would pray and ask God to reveal it to you, reveal what it is that you're confused about or you're not seeing clearly about, because sometimes we may think we're making the right decisions, we're going down the right path, but we're not. In fact, we're going in the wrong direction. So if you have a dream like that, it's important that you pray and you ask God to reveal the, uh, the meaning of the fog, what the fog represents, uh, what you're not seeing clearly or what you're confused about in your life. So during the night, and it's foggy, that could represent total confusion, a uh, total non-clarity, you're not seeing things clear at all. On the contrary, if you have a dream where you're experiencing fog during the daytime, for instance, you could have a dream where it's sunny outside, it's bright, but it's foggy, you can't see anything, even though 
it's daytime or it's sunny outside. And so this would tend to represent that the dreamer is not quite in God's will or still not, in other words, they're in God's will, but it's still not quite clear to the dreamer what it is that God wants them to do. So you may be walking in the will of God, kind of, sort of, but not totally clear exactly on which direction uh, God w- wants you to go in or he's pointing you in. For example, if you're in school to become a teacher of some sort, you may know that you have a teaching ability and that it's your purpose in life to teach and you, you want to be a teacher, but then you're not quite sure as to what level of education or what group of people you want to teach. You don't know whether you would be better suited to teach adults or children. So you know that that is your area and that is your calling, but still not quite clear on exactly what area in that particular uh, genre to go into. So that's an example of having a dream where it's daytime, it's sunny outside, but yet it's foggy. So being in God's will, being uh, operating or moving in your life's purpose, but not quite clear uh, exactly, still unsure as to which direction to go in uh, precisely or exactly. You're in the ballpark, but you're close, but uh, still not quite there. Okay. Also, you can have a dream where the fog is different colors. You ever had a dream? Anybody out there ever had a dream that you were in fog or, or you're driving in fog or walking in fog, but it was a different color other than the usual white fog? Well, that would tend to represent the negative meaning of that particular color. And I'll put it right here. I have a video uh, that explains the different colors, the meaning of what colors mean, the different colors, the negative and the positive meanings, because colors can be negative or positive. So in this case, if you have a dream where you're in fog and the fog is a particular color, that would tend to represent the negative meaning of that particular color. But there again, it depends on what's going on in the dream. It depends on how the dreamer is feeling. So it depends on how you're feeling in the dream. Are you sad? Are you happy? So you would look at all of those things to determine whether the color is negative or positive. But generally, if you have a dream and the fog is a different color, for instance, if you're, if you find yourself in blue fog, that can tend to represent depression, that you're going through a time or period of depression in your life. For red, if the fog is red, that could represent strife or anger, that type of thing. So it just depends on, again, what's going on in the dream and how the dreamer is feeling, the emotions of the dreamer in the dream. But you can have a dream where fog is a particular color. Also, you can have a dream about fog uh, pertaining to the location. The location matters uh, to the interpretation of the dream. Where are you during the fog? Are you in your car? If you're driving in your car, as I mentioned, that could represent your calling, your life's purpose, because cars tend to mention that, your purpose in life, your ministry, your calling. Also, it could represent your journey, your journey in life, your direction that you're taking in life as well. Walking down the street, do you encounter fog while you're walking down the street in your dream? That also would represent your journey or your walk in life as well. Not quite clear as to if you're going in the right direction or not. In your house, as in a dream you heard, you can have a dream where there's fog in your house. That can represent, because we know in the houses, houses and dreams rather, can represent a family. They can, uh, houses can represent a church or a ministry or an organization. 
can um, represent a particular group. So it just depends on who all is in the house and what's going on in the house. So in your house, if you have, if there's fog in the house, that could represent uh, confusion, possibly within uh, the dreamer's family or the dreamer's church even, or the dreamer's uh, job. If the members in the house are fellow co-workers, that would represent the dreamer's job or place of employment. Uh, so it could represent that. Also, I mentioned job. You can have a dream where you're at work and fog moves in into the area where you're in and you can't see and, and that type of thing that would represent conflict or confusion that's going on in your place of employment. Okay. Also, um, it could represent confusion or conflict with your boss as well. So it just depends on what's going on in the dream and, and who all is playing a part in your dream. And so uh, fog can also represent something that's hidden, something that's secret. You can't quite see it because it's hidden and it's not yet been revealed. So it could represent that something that uh, is about to be revealed or exposed in your life and God is about to reveal it or expose it. So let's look at the dream you heard earlier. So in the dream, the dreamer says that uh, when she opens the door to her house, she's met at the door by this thick, heavy fog that hits her. The fog was very thick, very heavy. So that tells us right there that whatever is taking place in the house is pretty heavy duty. And she goes on to say that every room in the house was foggy. So this fog covered every area in the house. She said some family members, and I'm assuming this is the dreamer's family, family members were in the kitchen eating and some were in other parts of the house. So sounds like a regular family scenario as families do. Some will be in certain rooms doing this different uh, activities. And uh, she goes on to say they were all behaving normally. None of them seemed to notice the heavy fog. Now only the dreamer at this point is noticing the heavy fog throughout the house. And she says, uh, they didn't notice it even when she tried to bring it to their attention. They still didn't notice the fog. Now, remember what we said, fog could mean. So fog can represent confusion or uncertainty or strife. So fog in this uh, household would represent a sense of confusion, even a, a sense of contention or strife that's going on is pretty thick and it's pretty heavy in this particular household. But even though she tried to bring this to their attention, to show them, don't you see the fog? They couldn't see it like she was seeing it. She goes on to say that she felt frustrated at the fact that no one seemed to believe her that there was fog in the house. And so the, this dream is showing that Within this family unit, because I'm assuming these are family members, family unit that um, confusion was taking place, strife was going on within the family relationships there, but either they couldn't see it because she tried to point out the fog to them. So the people in within the family or within the group couldn't see it or they were in denial about it. That could be uh, a reason why they, they didn't see the fog as well in denial about it. So this would represent strife that's going on within a family unit or uh, a particular organization that the dreamer is involved in. It could be work. It could be an org a, a group, a particular uh, group that they're involved in, church or ministry uh, that they're involved in. Again, it just depends on who all uh, is in the dream or is in the house, who all is in the house. And so that's what this dream would represent. Did you get that interpretation, strife, confusion going on in the house? Let me know in the comment section if you got anything more, anything different 
in your interpretation. Have you had any fog dreams? I want to hear about it. Leave it in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit your subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and become a part of the dream team. So hit that button. Also, turn on your notifications so you won't miss any upcoming videos. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Liking the video will help get this video and all the other videos out to other fellow dreamers. And go ahead and share with your family and your friends as well. I'll talk to y'all next time.